point do you become stronger than your strongest excuse? Meaning, even when it's valid, you can use it, and it's probably wrong that it happened, but at what point do you become stronger than your strongest excuse? Because at a certain point, life is going to place everybody in a position to where you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. There is no excuse for not living up to the, your fullest potential. No excuse. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power. Every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. Now let me say this before I move forward. And I can't explain it, but you better feel me. Winners win and losers lose. I can't explain it any better than that. I don't know how it happens, but winners win. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture. It's easier to go from failure to success than it is from excuses to success. The moment you make excuses for your life, you take the exit off of where you're trying to go. Because excuses give you a reason for not being exceptional. It gives you a reason for not showing up. It gives you a reason for not delivering the goods. It gives you a reason for not being the person that you wanted to be. Remember this, excuses always shrink your stature. Excuses are the quicksand in the land of the living. And the moment that you begin to excuse yourself and make it a lifestyle, you never can be a person of excellence and you can never be a person of success. The chronic excuse maker. How do you stop making excuses? This is actually pretty simple. And I said it the other day, you have to realize, you have to know, you have to accept that all your excuses are lies. They are lies, all of them. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. Taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. You don't have time. That's a lie. You don't have support. That's a lie. You don't have the equipment or the gear. Lies. You don't, you don't know the best way. Who cares? That's a lie or you're too old or you're too young of course you're too old or too young lie and there's you're too busy sure you are and the list goes on and on and on and it doesn't stop if you don't make it stop so recognize the excuses are not valid they're trumped up they're conjured up, they're fabricated, they're lies. If you're doing something that you're not loved in love with, you're wasting your life. You're living a misplaced life. And I'm, I'm speaking from experience. Do something you love. So when you're doing something you love, when the difficulties come, when the tough times come, when the failures and the rejections and the setbacks come, it will give you the strength and the power to handle it. When you do something you love, that's your superpower. So, don't believe the lies, believe the truth. And the truth is, you have time. You have the skill, you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. So, cast out the lies Burn them down and listen to the truth. Then live the truth and go out and get it.